Hello and welcome to Meadweek. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the Combined Federal Campaign is underway. September is Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month, and the USO goes fast and furious. These stories and more, but first, the Garrison invites the entire community to participate in an installation run in remembrance of 9-11. It starts at 6.30 a.m. on McLaughlin Parade Field. The run is also part of Fort Meade's observation of Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. Suicide Prevention Program staff will be on hand to provide educational materials. Once again, the installation run is Friday morning at 6.30, starting at McLaughlin Parade Field. In a related story, the run is just one of many activities planned in observance of Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. On September 14th through the 18th, Fort Meade is hosting the Regional Training for Assist or Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training. Fort Meade Suicide Prevention Program Manager Ms. Tori Ulsterholm says that the entire post is involved. This program is, is so wonderful because we're actually training people who have gone through the assist program to be trainers and so we're going to host as a region so we have folks coming from new jersey uh you know ways down south to our fellow close proximity bases and we've included other service members and so we have air force navy um, coast guard the chaplains fellow soldiers, so we have people clearly represented in that training. We'll have more on Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month throughout the month of September. In more 9-11 news, more than 5,000 volunteers are expected to converge on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Friday to help pack meals that will go to food banks across the country. To help reach a goal of 1.2 million meals, Installation Management Command along with AARP and Chase are inviting service members, DOD civilians and their families to participate. They're asking military volunteers to sign up specifically for the 8 to 10 a.m. or noon to 2 p.m. shifts. Of course, you could volunteer for any time shift. Just go to www.acelebrationofservice2015.com. Meanwhile, the combined federal campaign for 2015 is underway. Here's a brief message from Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley. Hello, I'm Colonel Brian Foley, the Fort Meade Garrison Commander. I'm pleased to announce that the 2015 combined federal campaign is underway. CFC is the biggest and most inclusive workplace giving campaign in the world. Donors can now select any charity from any CFC region to give to. For more information and for a list of more than 22,000 eligible charitable organizations, I urge you to contact your unit CFC key person or go to www.cbacfc.org. The Combined Federal Campaign makes it easy for us all to conduct our own personal donation plans. Please consider using CFC this year and every year to donate to a charity or charities of your choice. Thank you. An additional note, as we produce today's program, the database listing the more than 22,000 charities have not been finalized. This means that the open season for giving is delayed and the online pledging systems, CFC Nexus, MyPay and Employee Express aren't available yet. CFC officials urge you to check the website www.cbacfc.org daily for the latest information. In other news, Club Mead is hosting a community job fair on Wednesday, September 16th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sponsors include MWR, the Maryland Department of Labor, and Anne Arundel County. The fair offers a free resume evaluation and preparation assistance service, so bring your resumes, dress for success, and be prepared to meet potential employers. For details, go to www.ftmeadmwr.com. The fair is open to everyone. Fort Meade's USO is hosting a screening of the movie Fast and Furious 7 on Friday, September 18th. It'll be shown on a large inflatable screen with the USO offering free giveaways and raffles. The event starts at 6 p.m. with the movie scheduled to start at 7. The movie is being shown in conjunction with the DVD release of Fast and Furious 7. One final reminder, the Fort Meade Rodden Gun Club and NWR are hosting the 2015 Fall Youth Fishing Rodeo. It's coming up Saturday, September 19th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Burba Lake. It's open to kids from 3 to 15. There are three age divisions, 3 to 6, 7 to 11, and 12 to 15. And if you need supplies, there will be limited fishing gear and bait available. Registration starts at 8 a.m. at Burba Lake. For more information, just go to www.ftmeadmwr.com. And that's it for this edition. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.